Welcome to all of you, wherever you are. Today is the 23rd Sunday in Year C. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button to get all of our YouTube messages. If you are away from your faith, thank you for watching and joining us at our celebration. We are so glad that you are with us today. As a church, we are trying to stay connected to you. Know that we miss you and are praying for you. If you have not shared your email address with our office, please do so. You will find messages in the bulletin and a daily reflection that will be sent to your email address in our parish Facebook page. Past message series can be seen on our YouTube channel, Most Holy Trinity Parish, Susquehanna County. We invite you to support our online ministry by using the link found in the description. Thank you for joining us at our celebration. We are so glad you were with us. Please stay connected with us by our parish bulletin and daily email as we continue our series. Next week, we will be starting to take a look at our Catholic faith and our relationship with Christ. As we begin our Mass, Center your hearts for today's message. The entrance anaphon. You are just, O Lord. Your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. We begin this holy mass as we begin all our prayer to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. It is so good for us to be here, wherever we are, uh, in whatever capacity we can come together as a family, as a community of faith, and offer our praise, our adoration, our worship, our thanksgiving to our one living and true God, joining in the heavenly wedding banquet, the Lamb's high feast that has no end, that'll be eternal in the heaven, and someday we hope to enjoy that feast in its fullness and the glory of God's kingdom. And today we gather on this 23rd Sunday in ordinary time. As the, you've heard it said, I may have mentioned before, but ordinary time is for ordinary people doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way. Indeed, today is a day for us to be extraordinary, to recognize the gift of faith that we be given and to be able to come to our Lord with depth of heart, ready for him to pour into us his word, give us the strength of a blessed sacrament. We offer this Holy Mass uh, for all our intentions of the weekend. Pray in particular for the souls of Raymond Klim, Gary Hennessy, John and Joanna Schreffler. And I ask that you join me in praying for Martha Stanford and Kathy Delavelle, uh, both who are hospitalized. And now my dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life that is everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to Glory God in the highest. highest. And on earth, earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and is God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortals are timid and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens, burdens the soul and the earth and shelter weighs down the mind that has many concerns. And scarce do we guess the things on earth and what is within our grasp we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or who ever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? And thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. I, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onassis, whose father I have become in my imprisonment. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever. No longer a slave, but more than a slave, a brother. Beloved especially to me, but even more so to you as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Domine sit in corded to us and in lobbyist to us. Adidia competentor and nunciavis evangelium suum. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritui Sancti. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to the Domine. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. 
If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlook onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome to Most Holy Trinity Parish. If this is your first time, we're glad you're with us, and we hope you'll continue to enjoy the Mass, follow Christ, and listen with your heart. In today's Gospel, Jesus seems to do all he can to put people off from following him. No sane or reasonable person he seems to say, would seriously consider becoming his disciple. A disciple of his must hate his family and even his own life. At this point, we rush to the footnotes and we read that hate here is a Semitic idiom, an expression that contains a Hebrew influence. It refers not to negative emotion, but to preference. Nevertheless, the language Jesus uses is deliberately and provocatively strong, even violent. Jesus says that any disciple of his must be ready to carry his cross. This is an invitation willingly to undergo the most horrible humiliating, extreme manner of torture, commonly carried out in public at that time, as a very effective means of terrifying the subject population. Mother Teresa of Calcutta is being held up to the whole church, and the whole church and the whole world as an example of one who really did follow Jesus who was his true disciple, and who, as a result, is now certainly in eternal glory. Finally, to follow Jesus, you have to, ha you have to give up all your possessions. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. The gospel for today can be a difficult one to understand. Jesus once again was on the road with his disciples and great crowds were following him. At one point, Jesus turned to the crowds and addressed them. He said, if anyone comes to me who does not hate his father and mother, wife, children, brothers and sisters, and even his or her own life, he or she cannot be my disciple. Jesus then adds, whoever does not carry his or her cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. 
These are extremely strong words. Did Jesus truly mean that we are to hate our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our children, and friends? Or is Jesus telling us that if we choose to follow him, we need to realize that Jesus needs to be first in our lives? Jesus is making a very clear and strong point. Our primary allegiance always needs to be to Jesus. Jesus is not saying that we cannot or should not love and care for our families and our friends. He realizes that we have committed ourselves to our families and we need to live out that commitment. Rather, Jesus is telling his listeners what is essential. First and foremost, Jesus must be first in our lives. However, Jesus also wants us to love and care deeply for our family, our friends, and for the world community. Today, may we strive to love each person we encounter, the person we pass in the grocery store, a coworker who is struggling, or an individual we simply do not like. The quality of love that Jesus hopes we will have for one another surpasses the simple notion of liking another person. Rather, Jesus hopes that we truly will love every person in our world. Now, this may seem impossible. However, with Jesus' grace and love, we have the ability to do this. Will we choose to do this? St. Gregory the Great, a doctor of the church, said, In this world, let us love everyone, even though he be our enemy. But let us hate him who opposes us on our way to God, though he be our relative. We should then love our neighbor. We should have charity towards all, towards strangers, but without separating ourselves from the love of God, out of love for them. My dear friends in Christ, we, in the words of the Nicene Creed, let us profess our faith in God and all the good that he has given us. I believe in one God, Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Our almighty and eternal God calls us to the way of the cross as the way of true discipleship. In that spirit, we bring to him now not only our needs, but those of a world that longs to experience his love and mercy. For the church, that we may strive to open our hearts to God each day and be vigilant against allowing anyone or anything to displace God as the center of our life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For courage, that God will strengthen us as we encounter our daily crosses so that we may give witness to Christ through living the Paschal mystery and embracing our new life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For freedom of spirit, that God will unbind us from past hurts and failures so that we may be free to love, serve, and be in relationship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For greater respect and appreciation of children, born and unborn, and for the terminally ill, the elderly and the handicapped, that they may be welcomed, reverenced, and protected from all harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hand on the faith to our next generation, that they may effectively lead those entrusted to them to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health and healing, that God will curtail the new coronavirus variants, heal those who are ill, and protect the elderly and very young from the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all peoples, for the sick and the dying, especially those with cancer and COVID-19 virus, and all who are on our prayer list, that God will touch their bodies and spirits with tenderness and healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in this community of faith and our silent prayers. For most holy Trinity Parish, that we have a greater unity in the church, and we may be one in faith, one in hope, and one in the peace of the Holy Spirit. And for all who have died, especially our family members, our friends, and our fellow parishioners, that God will open wide the door for them and welcome them to the eternal banquet of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the blessed repose of the souls of Raven Klim, Gary Hennessy, John, and Joanna Streffler, for whom we offer this holy mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the hospitals, in particular, for Martha Stanford and Kathy Delaville, for whom we offer this holy mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you call us to the way of true discipleship, renunciation of ourselves, that we may pick up our own cross and follow you as you trod to the glory of the kingdom. Hear these prayers that we bring to you now with sincere, humble, and contrite hearts. Fill us with the confidence that you will answer them in your way, in your time, in accordance with your holy will. As we join them with those of your blessed mother who prays for us without end before your throne. And in the words of the angel and her cousin, with love and affection in our hearts for her always, salute her as together we pray. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Spiritu humilitati, synonymo contrito, shishipi amarate domine, et sic fiat sacrificium nostrum in conspecto tua horie, o placia tibi domine Deus. Ave me domine, ab iniquitata mea, et apicata mea munda mea. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this sacred offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and partaking of the blessed mystery, may we be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory. Father most holy, for you are the one living God and true, existing before all ages, abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, and the very source of light, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your heavenly light. And so, in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night. And gazing upon the glory of your heavenly face, glorify you without cease. With them we too confess your holy name in endless exultation, giving voice to every creature under heaven, as in one voice forever we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of, of hosts, hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great. And you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. And you form men in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care. So that in serving you alone, the creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. And time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to the day of salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, 
He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. To the sorrowful of heart, joy. And to accomplish your plan, gave himself up to death. And rising from the dead, destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bring to perfection his work in the world, he might make holy creation to the fullest. Therefore, O Lord, may this same Holy Spirit graciously make holy these offerings, that they may become the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us, as an eternal covenant. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, proclaim we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead, and proclaim his glorious resurrection and ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his very body and blood the sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon this sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your holy church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit that they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your eternal glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, and your entire people, all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, especially Raymond, Gary, John, and Joanna and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady, Queen of Peace, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, with St. John the Evangelist, St. Martin of Tours, St. Lawrence, and there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you forever through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world everything that is good.
Et ipsum cum ipso et in ipso est tibi Deo Patri omnipotente in unitate spiritu sancti omnes honor et gloria per omnia saecula saecula horum. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days. By the help of your divine mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's holy peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Domini Jesu Christi, Fili Dei Vivi, qui ex voluntate patris, coaparante spiritu sancto, per mortem tuum mundum vivificasti. Libera me per hoc sancra sanctum corpus et sanguinis tuis, ab omnibus iniquitatibus meis, et universis malis, et fac me tuis semper in herere mandatis, et ad te num quam separare permitis. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Custodia Animum Nostrum, Vitam eternum. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Custodia Animum Nostrum, Vitam eternum. The communion antiphon, like the deer that yearns for running streams, my soul yearns for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. pray. Grant that your faithful people, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, 
through the food of your word and heavenly blessed sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And before we have the final solemn blessing and dismissal, uh, first of all, just a note of gratitude uh, to, uh, to Deacon Ron here uh, in particular. I was named this week uh, as your pastor, uh, and I am so very grateful for that. And like a good deacon, the first one to send me a congratulatory note uh, was, uh, was Deacon Ron. So I'm very, very grateful. He did a magnificent job tonight. Uh, that homily just was right to the heart. And if you took heed to his word, open your heart to hear what Jesus is saying. Uh, he did a magnificent job. So I, I commend you, Ron, for uh, preaching and living uh, the gospel in service as a, as a true deacon. And I'm very proud to be part of old one take Miller and Maida. Uh, because we could do this without having to stop and take a break. It's their capability, but I love it that we did this. Irene, thank you so much for filling in tonight, as always. Absolutely lovely for Charles, uh, who does so much great work uh, with the videography and with the sound recording. Um, high quality, and that speaks of what this parish is all about, to try to bring the word most effectively to all those uh, who we can touch wherever they may be. Vicki, thank you for all you do, and most of all, for the people that join, the people that come here week in and week out, those that can't, but you know, feel compelled to join in. Let your prayers, let your hope, let your, your thoughts of the future be for the glory of God and his kingdom and what we can do to bring that about. However we're called to do it, wherever we are, in whatever way, when we put ourselves aside, and when we listen to the words of Christ and truly pick up our cross in whatever state of life we're in, bear our sufferings with joy, offer them to God, then we are really giving to God a gift, the grace that he can use to bring souls to heaven. And after all, isn't that what this is all about? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. And please answer amen to each of these short blessings. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his divine mercy. Amen. Amen. May he turn his holy countenance toward you and grant you his eternal peace. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you and all those you love in this world and the next forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria.